Hello, welcome to a review of the uh, Toys R Us Blocktober for 2016. I got this very recently uh, from Toys R Us. And there are four figures here. There are a total of four of these packs, and this is the uh, sports one. And as far as uh, I can tell, that um, I mean, the figure parts themselves aren't that special. You have uh, certain pieces that um, they just mix and match from different minifigure series or standard other you know, city boxes and whatnot. Uh, just mix and match into something that resembles something of. Um, you know, sports is like it's equivalent to someone going into the pick and mix part of the Lego store and just designing some sport people. So as far as I can tell, this is set number three. As far as I can tell, the the you know the idea of this box is uh, the box itself is actually more valuable than the figures themselves. Um, as for as a collector's thing, and uh, what they've done is they got a plastic sleeve here with the corners cut off so it doesn't damage the box or you know or stab you when you move it around and the two pieces of plastic tape one on each side that holds the box inside it. and you have this nice smooth feel to it and the whole box is pretty solid like it's it's got a lot of weight to it and just different languages on the back and cause a Hong Kongy sticker on it because I'm from Hong Kong so whoop, slide it out and there you go you got the four figures sort of in here hmm hello First up is the uh, <laughs> tennis player, which is the standard tennis feet, but they just swapped out for like a Hawaiian sort of deep beachy sort of uh, body and gave uh, a generic face there. So, uh, I mean, this face is not technically female. Not. The hair and the leg are female, but the body isn't. And um, they just uh, swapped out the shirt bit with just sort of yellow arms. Um, but this one's the one that makes the most sense in a way. It's not quite female, but a little bit female. So this is... Um, a hormone transition tennis player. Hey, no hips or anything, but but long hair. Um, yeah. So we've seen this uh, tennis with the minifigure series before. The legs, the bodies, from all the way back to Lego Island uh, Extreme Sports or whatever they want to call it. And um, this body's been around for a long time. The headpiece, I'm not sure where that's from, but I'm assuming it's just another generic sports head. And the hairpiece itself is decent. It's a decent hairpiece. Not quite the hairpiece I would use to play tennis with, because um, I think they're tired a bit better than that when they're playing tennis. So, and a little tennis racket thing. So, hooray! Maybe. Mm. Uh, what I assume is a sports car driver, due to the body and the helmet making sense. And uh, as always, these none of these have uh, back head prints. By the way, they're all plain on the back. Um, so the top makes sense. That's fine. But the legs, for some reason, they're giving you like. Um, you got a little clip there that's used for like mountain climbing and stuff. Why would you, you will not have a loose metal piece when you're in a really fast race car? It doesn't make sense. Um, so that's a bit silly. They probably just thought, oh, red, green, red, that's something. Here's some, here's some red spare legs that we have. Um, surfer dude with not quite speedos. Um, <laughs> actually, my friend was commenting on that when he saw that. I said, like, oh, they painted black on the leg, so it doesn't really look quite awkward like it does on the back. Oh, flashing, flashing. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, this video is slowly becoming not quite PG. <laughs> and uh, yeah, a standard hair that we've seen in many, many places. Doesn't quite fit the hair. I guess he's dyed his hair orangey and stuff because his beard's black. And I get the, the shirt and the pants makes sense but the colors don't match too well it looks kind of weird um to be honest don't look that good finally we have this supposedly football player american football which you don't use your foot to you know throw the ball around um so the, you know the body armor and the helmet's fine the, the body itself is just plain legs are plain that's also fine for the most part but they've given him sunglasses head which I don't know if you if you want to destroy your eyes by playing American football, then by all means wear glasses like that when playing. It's 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 such silver glasses for it's like this is douche baller. That that's what he is. He's he's douche footballer. Um, there's a little bit of detail on the eyes on the sunglasses. A little bit of white print, white dots print on it for like reflection and stuff. But yeah, he just looks like yeah, he's stupid. So my final conclusion is these figures are actually kind of crap overall. Um, uh, Kind of makes sense, not really. Kind of makes sense, not really. Uh, they all just feel like they were just leftover pieces that someone was just like, ah, oh, let's just put these together, there you go, special box. 
yeah, really crap. The the only value in this is a you got it and you're just like oh, I can use these as spare parts. So you take these figures apart, throw away the box, and and just put these into a parts bin. That if you have one of those for many different minifigures. All the other value is just the box for collectors to say, hey, I have all the Blocktober stuff, here's all the figures in the boxes, there you go. That's it. I don't recommend buying this unless you just have to collect this. Um, I, I don't go back recommend getting it. It's way overpriced what it is uh, online. So, yeah, it kind of sucks. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And guys, take care and have a nice day. Bye-bye.